Good morning, guys. All right, we're here. That's our tour guide. Ate. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Do you mind me and my wife? We are vloggers. Oh. We're gonna vlog our trip. We're very friendly. We're friendly people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Lin. Lin. I'm Chris. 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 Hi, Don. Nice to meet you. Good Serena. Nice to meet you. We're at our second viewpoint here. Yeah. Chrissy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this one is another UNESCO. Mm. Alright guys, so this is Bangaan. I hope I'm saying it properly. Bangaan rice terraces and native village. We're actually going to go walk down here and check out the village guys. We can't wait to do that. Uh, it looks like it's a quite a long walk from up there all the way down the terraces to go down We were told that not many people come down here. So um, Yeah, we're gonna go for it. We've brought some pasalubong. We've got watermelon mango banana and cucumber um, We're gonna try to treat the the kids when we get there guys, so <laughs> What's up bros? How are you guys? Whoa, what's up stilts? Nice. Be careful. <laughs> ah, they're using stilts right on the side of the cliff. <laughs> all right, so our tour guide was giving us some information about these terraces. So these are all, as you can see, they call them terraces because there's like different levels of, of uh, rice field. Um, they're not owned by like the same person. Like all this rice, this whole rice field is not one person. It's like different families. One family owns this terrace. One family owns this one. And uh, yeah. It's really cool. Actually, you can see here, this is a few months in to the rice being planted. This is the rice up top. So it's like this, and when you break it open, um, right now this, the rice inside's a little yellow. It's not dry yet. Uh, it's got, still got another uh, little bit to go. Another cool piece of information, the flags on the rice fields here. These are to prevent birds from coming down. Um, when it gets windy or even with the sun the sun reflects off the flags or the wind moves the flags keeps the birds from coming to eat their rice that's almost going to be harvested Here we go. We're entering the village now, guys. Um, looks like they got some fresh drinks and that for some people who need refreshments. Like I said, we got some fruit, some vegetables. We're gonna try to cut them up for some people. Hello, hello, bro. Lynn, oh, I thought it was Lisa. Oh. Do you want a mango too? You're gonna have a half a mango. How about you, Paul? Thank you. With the baby. I know she's hungry, but look at some, some mango seeds. So, Ate, what are you doing on the rice? Yeah, that's the part. Okay. So, you're just separating it? So, pulling out the stalk to collect the. Ice cream. Oh. And what do you do with this one, Sna? So this one, broom to mm -hmm. clean. Oh yeah, to so use it as a broom, I see. This one is also actually, you can also use this one as a natural shampoo. Google. Natural shampoo. Yeah, Love, look at this. Burn. So the charcoal, you can add water. And oh. let it you can apply on your hair. Your hair will become shiny and smooth. Ooh. It's like a super manual. Because I know like the olden days, all the men like do the like the farming, the working, and then the women just do the house housework, cooking. Is it still the same or it changed? They have farms. They do both the work. Okay. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Yes. So there's no rice in that. Uh, there is rice in it. But how do you separate the rice? Okay, she will show it to us. How they separate it. So the pointed one will be used for the first time. Oh. Yes. So by pounding the rice, you must point at the middle. Wow. Oh. 
He says he wants to try it that day. <laughs> you bad. You're a strong woman. I'm just kidding. You. <laughs> it's a little bit. You hold it like this. Yeah, you must be here. This one? Because I'm yeah. left, left handed, so I would go like this. You this? Also, you must also position your foot. Okay. Yes. Like this? So you're going to hold both here. Both hands? Yes. Mm. And just up and down? You don't hold it too tight. Okay. Just rely the weight. Ah, okay. Just helping the weight to point up the middle. Mm. So it's like you release it, you do the weight. I see it vibrates your... You, <laughs> You'll be waiting a long time. Yeah. If you hold it, it kind of... It's like vibrates your bones. If you Sarah used to uh, break your bone. <laughs> Doesn't even make a sound. I know, hers is like... <laughs> wow. You want to try these? Okay, mm and then you turn. Half then them, halfway. You can... I'll put and then remove this, the big sticks yes. and that. Yeah, you're going to remove or to separate okay. or to lessen the husk. Then you're going to fold it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Careful. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 Here comes the chicks. Here comes the chicks. Here comes the chicks. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, eat your rice. Don't hold it too tight. Okay. So you're not going to control this one. Yes. Just for the weight of the bezel, you use to help to point at the middle. Okay. And also your weight or your uh, force. Jeez. Jeez. Oh Jeez. Wow, it's like guys. you are also breaking a wood. Yes. Just Can you just imagine someone the... that's uh, you get annoyed by someone and then okay, <laughs> 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 yeah. Her? Really, pounding also can be done by two persons. Okay. So do okay. Do you do it like alternately? Yes. 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 Okay. Ah. Yes. Ah. Look at you guys! Interesting. Nice! We're eating rice sooner. Mm. <laughs> oh my. So Okay, so right now guys, so they just finished the pounding like you saw. It's uh, basically so that right now the rice is already like the husks are all smashed, everything's smashed. So they're putting in here, I guess for the next stage, they're gonna try to remove as much as the, of the husk as they can. Windy. Ah. Now, even it's not windy, that one is, depends on your technique. Mm. Oh, so the husks fly. They all go in the front. Wow oh, guys, so all the rice husks are all, she's moving them all to the front and then boom, she throws it out. So all what's left in this container is going to be the rice. Mm. That's so cool, she did that's technique. Oh. All right. Gonna do the second so this is now like a more fine, ah, you can see guys, it's oh, more rice in there. See. Yes, it is the red rice. Let the expert do it. So, yeah. so now the to... blunt side. Yeah, the flat one. Okay. Very cool. So this must be careful. Okay. Okay guys, so she just found uh, finished pounding it as you saw. She was pounding it from the blunt side this time. Um, when we first started it was the pointy side to really break up uh, the husks. And then she used this for uh, finalizing. And there it is guys, she's got, she says one more step, she's going to do the same thing, trying to remove the rest of the husk, the rest of the husk, and then now it's going to be just the rice left. There you go guys, finished product, look at that rice.
And this is the red rice. Oh, no, you yeah, chicken. Normally, normally uh, learn how to do the hard work around six. Wow. Six yes. years old. When we were six years old. Wow. Yeah, just like this moment. Yeah. Actually, he was also to try pumping that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so she told us that uh, as young as six years old here in the, this village, they learn how to pound the rice and separate the husk from the rice. So that's really interesting. No. Okay. Because you're going to collect the unfinished. Oh, yes. One. Mm, like this here too. Yes, just collect ah, them I and see. give it to the chicken mm, yeah. or add it to the unpound rice. Okay. It's hard to be pounded yeah. again the next time. Okay. So even after that step, they still have to go with their hands and get a little bit more of, you'll see like there's little, the little pieces yeah, like this. When you get bored, <laughs> oh, yeah. the pounding. Yeah. Yes, it is where you... It's pretty good though. You got almost all of it, eh? <laughs> yeah. This is a native, not costume. What would yeah. this be called? Garments? Uh, well, I guess they're dressed. They're dressed, but can you hold it now? Yes. Yes. Do they do they still wear it nowadays? Yeah, oh, so they wear this when nice. they're doing their rituals. Okay. Um, do you still wear this one on the wedding? Yes, no, they do it on the wedding. On the wedding. Special, Special occasions too. Okay. Yeah. Looks like nice materials, Arena. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Mm. And part of the tradition. Just the uh, purse. <laughs> so what's in there? <laughs> Oh, that's the purse? Yeah. Really? See? Mm, okay, so you can put, what will you put in there? We'll put like... Some cash. Cash? Yeah. Because them, they don't have the cash before that they do the barter. So okay. maybe they have something here that... Brown can sugar, exchange. stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, flour. Flowers, yeah. Mm, very cool, Serena. Very nice. Pretty girl. The lady told us there's about 100 people who live here. Between kids and adults. So yeah, and they mainly live off their rice, uh, chicken, and pork. As we're in the middle of the mountains, fish is very hard to get. So meat is their, is their option. Okay guys, this was Bangaan Rice Terraces. Uh, video number one guys, hope you enjoyed it. The process of making the rice, the native people here, the native village. It's a beautiful day guys. Stay tuned. We've got three more days of video to do. Well, three more days of Banawe to do guys. We have a lot more content for you guys. So uh, yeah, stay peaceful, stay humble. Thanks for watching everybody. Peace out.